In this video, we'll look at the type of reaction for when we have Na plus HCl. So as we look at this, sodium's a metal, so it's going to form positive ions. Then we look at hydrochloric acid. If we look the charge up, we'd see that hydrogen here, group 1 on the periodic table, has a 1 plus charge. Chlorine's in group 17. It's a halogen, so it has a 1 minus charge. So we see we have a metal that's going to form positive ions. So we're thinking that the metal might come in here and replace the hydrogen. Then the hydrogen goes over here and we'd have, we don't have hydrogen by itself. It's always diatomic, so H2. So, and then the sodium would be with the chlorine. So we'd have NaCl. So we have our chemical reaction here. It's actually balanced. And if we look at the charge here, sodium, that's in group one, so it has a one plus, and then chlorine is that negative. So that's correct, it should be NaCl. So this is our equation. The question we ask though is, does the sodium actually push the hydrogen out? Is it active enough to do that? And to answer that question, we need to look at the activity series to see if it's more active. And here's how this works. We look at our list here, and here's sodium. We keep going down, and here's hydrogen. So the elements towards the top of the list are the most reactive. That means that they can push the other one out. So sodium is more reactive, much more reactive than hydrogen. So it pushes the hydrogen out, which is by itself, H2, which is diatomic. And then we have the sodium bonded to the chlorine. And that gives us the NaCl. Note that the reaction doesn't go back this way. The hydrogen can't replace the sodium because the hydrogen, that's below sodium on the activity series. This is Dr. B with the type of reaction for Na plus HCl. Thanks for watching.